So I believe that everybody of you will be the case. Mm. Somebody can tell us what that case is about. Yes. That is much of what you are doing. This is the case of the court administration um, where the mayor uh, who was elected wanted to revamp the city. Which city? La Paz. And um, he had assumptions of why the city may not be uh, operating well. And his first assumption was that he had the wrong human resource. But upon consultation with his colleague and getting involved in a, some sort of scientific study about the problem. Scientific study, how the scientific study that we now was conducted? It was conducted by uh, observation and uh, interview interaction. Uh, by himself, by others, with others? Himself and his colleague. Mm -hmm. And they were able to realize that actually uh, the city has very um, competent staff. Mm -hmm. Though uh, the problem. I think you have skipped some issues. Can we get some issues that are skipped in the, in the case? Mm -hmm. Basically, the case is about uh, a young a politician who is elected into. What is the name of the politician? McLean mm -hmm. is elected. Yes. Uh, he's elected at a time when uh, Bolivia is, uh, is, 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 is when Bolivia's economy is more bad. Which year was that one? That is uh, 1970. 1970. 1975. Yes. Yes. So. Uh, He's elected into office by a popular majority and uh, he now has the, the, the task to, to, to put uh, this city uh, into, uh, uh, into, into a better administration. Yes. But uh, to, be, to his uh, disappointment, he finds that, uh, uh, that, 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 that the staff the city uh -huh. council uh -huh. uh, actually corrupt. Uh -huh. yeah. He finds that everything is totally in design. You are seeing mm -hmm. another thing again. It's something that uh, how do you come to be to join the politics of uh, mesh? Well black men. <laughs> By whom? Yeah. An associate. How many? No, he's not a black man. He wasn't black man. He was dropped into. He was dropped into. What is black man? He wasn't black man. Black man, I talk to you doing something that you would not even do. But for my interests, for the collective interests of the party, it wasn't. Yeah. It was not black man. Well, you have black man. I it wasn't black man. They fronted him. Who was that? Who was the president? The former president. Who is it? It was Benza. Benza? Yes. And who, who was he? Who was Benza? Who was the president? Yeah. Who was Benza? Yeah. Who was Benza? He was his associate while they were still running their political. Their political. Benza was a presidential candidate. Yeah. Benza was a presidential candidate. Yes. Presidential candidate. And why do you think Benza tried to ask McLean uh, to stand for the president for the for the mayorship? But what was the interest of uh, what was the interest of McLean? What was his interest first? What was his interest? His interest was to become president at some point. Yes. Mm -hmm. But at that time he knew he would not succeed. So he needed to front oh, who? Benza. Okay. No, Benza. Benza. Mm -hmm. At that time he knew he wasn't going to succeed. Yes. So he had to front somebody who seemed like a firebrand, who would be like a brand for the party or his political interests. 
if McLean succeeded at what he did, that success would be paid to. Yes, I understand it. That when Benza found out that he may not succeed as a president, he felt that we need to build party members yes. who are see as leaders, mm. as mayors, as LOC world, as LOC whatever, so that when you come to the next good, you have a, a, a cadre to step on. I think that was like a rule in our process of regarding. Party structures and move, and move, and move ahead. Uh, but there is something that is very important there. I, I want to ask what were the interests of McLean before he was persuaded to stand for the mayor? He was a businessman. Yeah, he was, but what were the interests? His interest was to work with the president and the foundation. He had wanted to become a minister. He had wanted to become a minister in the government of Benza. He had his hopes were that he could campaign and then become a minister, but then he was persuaded to go to. So, Moses, can you continue? We have cleared the air. Thank you. After being sworn into office, um, he finds out that it's not, it would not be as easy as had been anticipated mm -hmm. by him mm -hmm. because the challenges that he was meeting were quite enormous uh -huh. uh, given the prevailing economic situation mm -hmm. uh, which necessitated... What was, the, what was that situation, madam? What was the economic situation? A lot of inflation. Mm -hmm. The country was printing money from from the foreign countries. Which country was was where they came from? Where they from? The US. The US. Yes. Which country was where they printing money from? For the political gains. 
So you know that the elections are coming in, you, you recruit people, you hire people, and you know that these people will be going around and, and support you. And you found that these people could easily be fired. They were with them and they got fired. And how did he pay them back? He used part of his money and uh, part of his he money? reached the federal, federal government. He reached out for some money. Uh, Grants from the federal government. Yeah. Grants from the federal government. Mm -hmm. Now we hire somebody. And who is that somebody who helped him to, to scale out the problems? His friends. His friends. They started to get at Harvard and they, fired, and they hired him to scan the situation. And how did he help him to, to solve the situation and what, what did he discover? What, what he did first was to, to do a, a research in the municipal council and to identify those loopholes or gaps where these guys uh, were exploiting to siphon uh, money from the state council. Mm -hmm. And once they identified those gaps, I think that's how they managed to, to rein and uh, able to manage the uh, administration of the state council. Mm -hmm. Yes, and uh, they discovered four major problems. What was problem number one? Construction. Yes, that's the From public works. Because what was the problem in construction? <laughs> well, mm. uh, they have the equipment, they rope some square parts, <laughs> sell the equipment. Mm -hmm. Buy it again at the lower price, put it back, and own it. And own it. <laughs> and they own it. <laughs> or then, then the other thing, they go ask uh, requisition for fuel, mm -hmm. then they drive Same. around. <laughs> 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 they put it there. <laughs> 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 That's what we're actually doing. That's our story. <laughs> They start a project on the road and they give a good They say, the machine has broken down. Mm -hmm. And what are the citizens who are more scared of seeing them come to the next When they say, I'm trying to fix one step, no, no, no. no. <laughs> that was rich, but I'm going to say, they said, just don't leave, leave the road so we, <laughs> we, shall, we shall live with this condition yeah. because you can't work and you and leave. They'll, you, they'll just dig it up and leave, and leave a mess, a bigger mess than it is. <laughs> Yes. Uh, uh, okay. The second problem is tax revenue. Tax revenue. How, how, why, how, how and why is tax, tax revenue a problem? Um, what happened is they would do, say, the evaluation, mm -hmm. but at the collection period, mm -hmm. instead of these tax collectors coming and maybe collecting money to remedy it, they would come and negotiate with the uh, the property owners, property owners. Mm -hmm. they tell them, you see, you can give us this, actually this is what is happening, you can <laughs> give us this, we've <laughs> produced for you all, you don't have to pay, pay us this amount, because this, this person is going to pay less than what he was supposed to pay under normal circumstances, mm -hmm. they end up paying to this person, and this money doesn't go for whatever the intention, mm -hmm. and this becomes a cycle within the cars, the municipal, the municipality, and services do not reach out. Mm -hmm. The third problem. The cash. Sure. No, and I wanted to just chip in on the issue of the tax revenue. Yes. Like even if the person had to pay, they would have undervalued his property, yeah. meaning he's not going to pay in taxes exactly what he would have paid mm -hmm. if the property was at the right value. Mm -hmm. I normally do it when I when policy gets me. You do. <laughs> Instead of paying uh, four hundred thousand, you pay one hundred thousand. Instead of paying one hundred thousand, you pay one hundred 
happen. That is that is the, the situation of the, the theory of uh, police. police yes. mm. Okay, so show you I was supposed to pay two hundred thousand. Give me fifty. And maybe what I saw, I don't know, is in this same thing. But there is it in, in the Russia where there are different types of taxes. You don't even know which tax yeah. you are paying. Yes. But still. you are all in the same line. Mm -hmm. You don't know which tax you're going to pay exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Whether you're going to pay in some. Wait, I don't know where this tax going to run away from the government officials. But if you tell us, you're going to pay a tax for painting your house, a tax for renovating, a tax for just, I mean, you're going to renovate the home, you must pay. The permissions are now going to get to permission for this, even for minor renovations. Something, it's moving with the driver. Yesterday, he told me he was going to cut his trees. So they tell him, You go to the district, they give you permission to cut. Then, when you're going to transport after cutting, you go back, they give you permission to transport what you cut. So I'm seeing something <laughs> like it's your own trees, you planted them, not public trees. Uh, maybe it was a so what was the third issue? What was the third issue? The cashier. The cashier. Ah, the cashier. The simple corruption. The cashier of the fruit. Yes. How is the cashier simple? The cashier is the man who collects the cash. Everyone comes to his window to pay. Mm -hmm. There are penalties, there are for permits and everything. Mm -hmm. And the transactions were in cash, nothing like bank and bring us slips. Mm -hmm. So when they pay him the cash, he first collects, mm -hmm. runs around, <laughs> makes interest, <laughs> does a reinvest, mm -hmm. makes interest. <laughs> um, he will actually, I think they'll get, they'll get pesos and dollars. Mm -hmm. So he would get the dollars. And then he goes and, and buys, he'll go buy dollars and then the, he comes back and well, it's like the two weeks. Uh -huh, when it has now it has grown and it's got some interest, he comes back buys and buys the pesos. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then he would basically enrich himself, buy a new car every week. What was the, what how what car was the mayor driving? It, it was, was a shattered car. <laughs> <window. laughs> How was the, uh, the yeah, sleep rides every week? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Very. It was paltry. Ten dollars, twenty dollars, and the mayor was getting about forty-five dollars a month. Yes. And it was now the highest paid in that in in in, in that sum. And what is that money to the worker? It, it, it would not. It would not make them have the basic needs even for a month. So they could just stay for the sake of I have a job. The, condition is poor in the country, they had no option. So mm -hmm. I think they were conditioned, can I say conditioned? Mm -hmm. Including the cashier. <laughs> <laughs> so they were conditioned? I don't know. I, 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 I somehow really like, mm -hmm. uh, this was more like a part-time job. Because of the no pay. Because of the no pay. They were more than nice. mm -hmm. yeah, the, the, So they just come here. Just yes, to show face. To show. And I, I was around and then ran away. But yeah. ideally, they were supposed to be there full time. So but conditions couldn't allow and, them. To and the fire was too. The fire. They came back. If we this other, uh, what was the second, the second part? 
Yes, they do that. Speed you want to do other areas, you, 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 you know. I want to make a point for you because he knows the people who are inside there yes. uh, since he was was there. Mm -hmm. yes. So he knows who is there. So yes. as you're here, you're waiting for. I just want to renovate my house. This day. And you don't know where to go. This is another thing. Bring, bring. Let me bring. Tell, tell. The people blockers. Yes. Okay, that's that's exactly. I remember that I have one. I call him the the re-employed retiring because every morning you'll find him on the uh, on the door he spends his day there so when there's time that maybe in newspapers they say we have paid pensioners ABCD mm -hmm. you'll find he's the one bringing them some of them can't <laughs> <work. laughs> <laughs> How do you know that? <laughs> <laughs> so he said, you give them a paper to sign. He, he says, can you sign? He writes for them the name. And he says, you sign. And immediately he moves out with them. So somehow you... He's not a broker. Pension broker. Pension refund broker. The pension broker somebody it, yeah. it just reminds me of uh, Uganda Registration Services Bill. Mm -hmm. um, before actually it was uh, reformed, the reforms that are there now, because before the URSB Act it was called the company mm -hmm. but it was one of the most corrupt <laughs> departments in Uganda, and there were many uh, such kind of people, they, uh, and they used to call them uh, corridors, yes. those ones who do make sure you come for company registration or mm -hmm. business registration. Mm -hmm. they, they did everything. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> 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 okay, let's, let's, let's now go into our ethics. Yeah. Let's now go into our ethics. Yeah. That, this is a case that provides a number of ethics and ethical issues to look at. Mm -hmm. What is the first thing that you look at into this case that you think this is ethical? So why do I give this case? Why do I give this case? Why do you think that I gave you this case? It shows one, I would say it shows, it gives them, the, it makes us relive the life in the land. And this is a real experience. Uh, if I give you some other papers what came out of this, this man uh, later on became president. Yeah, I saw you. I, I at least saw it. He was very He was very successful. <laughs> <laughs> he of the time around the city of Bolivia, from La Paz. Then later on, he became president. He turned the, the country upside down very well, but he was supposed to be. Like other things. But I did some great work. Uh, and this is a real experience of Bolivia. If, if you were the mayor, if you were the mayor, how would you have approached it? You look at that scenario in which he had. If you yourself were to be the mayor, how would you have approached it? So not much. <laughs> <laughs> So he looks at this office and the businessman. Mm -hmm. He's a lawyer. I don't know if he will look at this. <laughs> <laughs> so now you as an IT person, what is <laughs> that? Right away. Yes. Yes. I, I develop system. Yes. <clears throat> For example, the cash in it. The key to the Yes. Financial management control systems. now. Nowadays we have free books, mm -hmm. but I would have to develop a database. You enter the money here, print the receipt, this person has this and that is the money. Then from that database, I have another view on the other side. You are here only a cash, you are entering like here, this is... You are a has a database. You are a has a database assistant. Yes. I cannot go around it. They are. 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 They are.
significant. Well, there is now this one comes up because now there is an argument between the two of you. I am the cashier, you are the, you are the client, you've come to pay. You cannot agree, I put in this amount, you give me this. But then, wait, the system says you are paying this amount. So, unless that amount reflects, for example, the system of you are paying. When you are paying PPD, it says minimum 50,000. Uh, if you go to the bank and you pay 40, still you are able to refuse. But what's not it's still it's the system on the where there isn't ethics. <laughs> where there are ethics. Because if people are bypassing the system, mm -hmm. yeah. because if people are, uh, are buying government property without even going through the system and, uh, and all that crap. People are importing in cars without even paying taxes. Um, people are putting in, I mean, no, everything that is, is supposed to be How much money do you think the government loses or loses on fuel per day? I don't <laughs> Let me ask you this. Yes. Just because, because uh, you don't know the president. But in our state, that's our view of which went from Kampala to Guru yeah. on uh, diesel and came from Guru to Kampala on petrol. The same. And the, the same it's car. Same yes, I mean, the cards are saying, no, the, card, the card says, from Kampala to Guru, you took diesel. The same card. Of the same classes from Guru to Kampala, you took petrol. Maybe they changed the engine, a diesel engine. <laughs> <laughs> so, and how many, how, how many systems do you have in the company? Very good ones. Very good ones. What would you have done? If, if I were a man, one. I would take my stuff through council first. Maybe to get to understand what forms there. Five thousand two hundred. <laughs> of course, <laughs> of course, they're really leaders. They key stuff. Of course, before you get to know what forms they are, really their, their, their behavior, you can't have a solution. Like if I don't know why she comes early in class, maybe why she comes late in class, I can't solve her problem. So it's about getting to the good cause to me as a teacher I want to approach it that way. What I would say in a human resource point of view, um, it would be say a campaign, one, a campaign that starts with the self. Uh, where from the entry of a person into the system, you elect them into how and why should they be ethical and what is expected of them. But two, this should come because there is a circumstance, in a circumstance where what even when what they receive is not enough for their basic uh, needs. Say for instance in Uganda, you have to take a child to school, they go to school for fees for a term is not even your salary for several months, and you want your kid to be in good school. So, one, uh, I think reducing the numbers is okay, but then again, revising the policies, revising the entire structures, what I mean, yeah, but, but you know that you are, you are operating a system where those guys are. Yes. <laughs> so you are a member of parliament in Bolivia. The policy. At that time. The policy. Uh, and, <laughs> and you have a, a, a city of Kampala, La Paz, from Kampala, and that, like, what would you have done as a candidate? As a forensic candidate. <laughs> yeah, let's take that to that. What is Then, what do you do? What do you do with that for this It informs your next Because it informs, it is similar to what this guy did. Mm -hmm. um, what he was actually doing was uh, an audit. Um, because that is when you will be able to, to 
you want to establish what are the norms and what is being practiced. And then you are able to find uh, areas of weakness which you can improve on a partial basis. It may not be, um, because also like in this case, the conclusion is that workers need incentives. However, we are not, we are not given um, a feel of whether that, that intervention has worked, because that comes as a result of an audit. Then you are able to find how best can I address this problem, should I prosecute those that are failing the system, should I use an incentive, an incentive to motivate them to get away uh, from the practice. So you need some scientific um, document or report to make a judgment. So I go back to my question, why do you think I gave this in the case of ethics of the and public policy? You want us to develop a culture of ethics. <laughs> 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 because the Uganda we are living in. <laughs> and understand the ethical dilemmas that people face when they're handling public policy. So what is that one? Another one is to discover. To discover. What guides somebody to do things that are ethical? And I shall do that after this. Mm -hmm. Okay, we have about 10 minutes break. Okay. Yes. The first level I call it personal. Personal level is an area where you find yourself in a situation that might lead you to do something. We saw in the case where people were receiving little money, little money, little salary, ten dollars, twenty five dollars for the top, the top as the salary that you have in the in the, in the, in the, in the organization. You have people who have families, people who are listening to them to try to do all the way possible to save some money so that they can save their own families. You avoid tax, you avoid income corruption, you avoid working for the organization, you go to work elsewhere, you will write, and other things happen. That's the number one. So the first level is the personal level where people will be faced with personal challenges or personal successes and those successes lead them to do something. So in the case, we have seen, as I said, that the personal issues lead different workers in an organization in La Paz, in La Paz, in Bolivia, to do a number of unethical things and either ethical or unethical things. That's number one. The second one it is what you call the organization level. The workplace situations. The workplace situations faced by managers and employees where you find yourself uh, involved into favoritism, into hiring relatives, into hiring people you think that will get advantage of. Can we get the cases like the, the issues like examples in the case? Can we get examples in the case that you are afraid to get? Why are we relatives? No, we are the organization level, some use the organization to do some bad ethical things. <coughs> Uh, hiring the over 2,000 workers for a uh, personal against but using the uh, using the using the organization or cheating the company, the company that is uh, not very well managed and is cheated. The third level, the third thing that we are looking at is industry level, uh, where. The situations confronted as professionals, where we have people like accountants, where we have people like um, 
human resource managers. I, if I give an example of something that happened recently. In the December, November, December, December, in the case of public service of Italian government policies, I think you understand. It was not given as I'm just talking as as the as as the researcher and then uh, I think it was in October or November when they put into the papers, the papers in Uganda, they hired 18 government police. And the response that we had to the, 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 the public service received was 3,200 applications for 18 jobs. I don't know who started on those applications to select, 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 and they should list 850. <clears throat> they stated 850 to go and sit for the aptitude. So 850 sat for the aptitude, and they are exchanged when they started. <laughs> After that, this is what happened, and uh, one hundred and something, two hundred and twenty something, were invited for the interview. More money. <laughs> Just listen. It's in the same. More money, more money, more money. And they know somebody, I know somebody, somebody who was looking for a job. You paid the six million. Okay. 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 So he paid six million. I'm saying that I'm not saying it. Not too many. Not too many. And this may not be the only person who paid. What's the the monthly salary for that shit? You're not going to. You you what you call? It's like paying paying six million and go to Dubai to to work to, to do a job of eight hundred. It's more or less the same. If it's you for Alpha, it is um, around seven hundred and ninety nine thousand. That's a good one. <laughs> <laughs> so how long can he recover the six million? I don't know. We don't have to go to Dubai and get a pension. I usually tell people I didn't pay. 
So I don't require money to recommend you to do anything. One, I'm not a member of the commission, uh, but I sit sometimes as a technical person in the commission and what by not. Really, what is going on? But do you know that you start by working to pay to pay? Of course. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, they are the majority, but then, the but then you sit them down and ask like Judith, can this money roof? <laughs> 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 why would you put that money to something else? You put your life, for when they don't tell you after school, they find the job, we shall, we shall bring the money. <laughs> and I have my cousins, after campus, one month, the job, we shall bring the money for us. Yes. One month after campus, they say this company is advertising uh, who is the HR there, who is the patrolman, who is the nanny, they know they like, okay, this is the record. How much do you want? Give us for them tomorrow. We are actually investing, someone is asked to play. And again, it is our problem. We are creating this. We are creating this. We are not creating this. And I told you corruption is good. If anyone is not asking me for money, why should I be enticing her? We are the ones who create. What if you are the ones who create? You are the ones who create. Which organization tells us? People, if I need a job, I will not have got a job. I have never got a job like that. If I need a job, even now, I'm like, I am quitting MRPP, I need this job. Then just feel like, I need this job. You have to do this. This is the roof for you. Who tells you that the moment you pay you better? Exactly. Who tells you that? They have all paid. They have all paid. Look, look at me.
So I went to the second school and was told by you, you cannot be the way that that. The person who had the highest mark would be the student of the school. Uh-huh. Exactly. Smart move. And it was key. He never was a teacher. And he never was a teacher. He was a guy who was a teacher. So people were bullied and he became a teacher. And they earned it very well. It went wrong when they when they started being the mess mm-hmm. and became the last result. Imagine the people who are teaching your children. Yes. 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 You say you are a student doing mm-hmm. I mean, there's there's institutions who are part of mm-hmm. However much you could try to put it in the government system and drive it. The first side of my primary teacher, my primary teacher seemed to be one. For my own thing like that. Please tell us. This first side they went to buy school. No, they can't. I, I think buy school and the way. So how it turned around, it turned around. That's why it comes to So now that's just that's the reason. The eight eight two are the ones who have spoken out so Who is in charge of your nutrition at school at home? At this level we are doing it ourselves. <laughs> You tell your what? Nutrition. 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 Yes. Nutrition. Yes. We are doing What's everything now for us. We start depending on the people. I don't know. Retire. Everything. Okay. Your emotional well-being and everything is you. The head of a professor. The head. The head of somebody. It is a certain lady who never went up to pieces. <laughs> so who is in charge of those children in kindergarten? The failure of senior folk. Yes, one in the room is shared. I used to see their mouths when they were going to be the dance. I was an IU, IU, that's why I did my undergraduate. Yes. So sometimes we would share the PTC. We had classroom blocks there for our lectures. Mm. So whenever there would be, it would be time for admission for people, so we would see their mask pinned and it was really miserable. But people who got fourth, third, that is P7, mm. fourth, no, S4, people who got division four, division three, 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 no, three, no, three. No, they don't have intellectuals. Those would be very few, very, very few. And majority of calling, yes. Not just calling for calling, or maybe situations where financially things were a little hard. But you would actually see, but majority, I'd say 80 or 90% were really. And those are in charge of our next generation? Maybe. When we talk about employment, I knew the birth of this employment thing started uh, the first bunch of people who finished at McKinley. Before you even finish, you know, five year government has booked you for a job. Tell me how you're going to think about living in government. Mm-hmm. Unlike today, when the government. Yes, you're just 1993. Mm-hmm. These colonial guys are just thinking, like, okay, let, let's I have a friend, and then I have a friend who was saying, eh, who had eh, his brothers and sisters. He was a teacher, but he was a school teacher. So they, these guys went into Lama and Timba. Mm-hmm. And Timba in Kapara itself, if you want to get a rich person, 
qui pourra vous dire votre délégation. Oui. Tout le monde dit que les dix femmes de votre mari, moi je dis que vous êtes là plus qu'à mon Dieu. Sinon, on a un travail et on lui colle des jeux. So say to an international business. No protocol protocol to global situations confronted that indirectly as management team issues of national policies, national and international immigrations, etc. etc. Global. I hope one day we shall get this level, the film that I've seen, that we must have seen, how the boats are carrying immigrants from North Africa across the Mediterranean. How the immigrants are facing serious issues in crossing into Europe. This is from Syria. Where there, where there is no sea and other things. So, personal, institutional, industrial, international, international, all those levels we concern with. So, on personal moral philosophy, if I'm looking at, at, at the personal level, personal level, personal level philosophy, there are a number of things that happen. And we see them in the case that we are looking at. Ultimately, ethical choices are based on the personal moral philosophy of the decision maker. Five personal moral philosophies can be indicated here. The first one we call it the moral idealism. The moral idealism. The moral idealism uh, helps me to understand how the world ought to be. There is an idea in the world how the world ought to be done. You talked about the voting. Some of you talked about voting was using a personal moral evaluation. <laughs> the voting ought to be like this. An office ought to be like this. So if I, I am guided by that moral realism, moral realism, this year is moral realism. If, I'm, if I, am, I, I am led by moral idealism, the, an, an ideal that society must work on, then I tag, I tag before me, I tag in my head, I tag in my, in my psyche, I tag in my conscience that I must do this because I am doing it for the good of the world, that's how it must be done. Then the moral the moral realists are thinking about the way the world is done. So a moral realist will definitely always fall into problems. People are still making steel. People are, <laughs> people are getting this, let me do this. People are now paying, let me pay. People are paying six million for the job of, of, of less than a million. Let me pay. Let me even go out and put a basket here. I want, I want this job. Because people have said, hey, you stand it. What are you doing? Who is employing you? And that is the one that goes behind your mind. Your, your mind. Who is employing you? You stand it to become a lawyer. You stand it to become, I don't know what. You stand it uh, to be employed by a certain organization. And if it does not come, it becomes a very serious problem. Am I with you? Yes. Okay, if we are together. The other one, the third one is utilitarianism, which is concerned with optimization of pleasure and happiness of the many. So we talk about it here. Utilization of the many. So if the many feel happy, if the majority of our society feel happy, that is actually the first of the other end. If the majority feel happy, I do it. The, the last one is uh, no, the, the first one is rights, 
is concerned with respect of other peoples who are involved, while the last one is justice or fairness. We shall look at this maybe, um, really thinking that we do this next week. And I want to ask you if, if you are up, my phone is off. We remain with about 20 minutes to finish. Yeah. But uh, if you allow me, we meet next week, but on Skype or on the Zoom.